Hey guys, Enzo and Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering. How's it going? Uh, we're here today just to do a quick video um, on sharpness and uh, just real basic stuff, just uh, why it's important and uh, how, to, how to essentially adjust sharpness. I'll let Andrew take it away. Excellent. Okay, folks, thanks for joining us for another home theater engineering video. This one's uh, short but sweet, um, but it can be a very confusing issue. And a lot of people have noticed that on their TVs and on their projectors, there is a sharpness control. And in any sensible world, if you want the picture to be sharper, you would turn the sharpness up, obviously. And if you wanted it to be softer, you'd turn it down. Well, actually, that's not the case. So we've got Enzo, hey mate, yep. um, on the control at the moment. And on this projector at the moment, we've got the uh, sharpness turned all the way up. Now, what you'll notice here is around these letters, you'll see that you've got black letters, but you've got this white um, image or uh, artifacts uh, that are filling up the gaps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Enzo to um, slowly take the sharpness down and watch what happens. I'll just point out, especially on the 500 here, keep an eye on that, all right? And as we come down, in sharpness. Oh, look at that. Suddenly all that whiteness has gone. So now we'll go uh, all the way down so that there's no sharpness whatsoever. Uh, it looks a little bit sort of soft. So what sharpness does is it takes the black lines on your projector and it outlines them with a white line to try and make them stand out. The problem with that is it actually creates artifacts that aren't there in the original material. And if you've got some fairly close white lines like these ones, if you watch them change, it actually changes the image considerably. On a moving picture, you don't notice it so much, but if you want your image to be crystal clear and razor sharp, the best way to do it is like this. We're gonna turn it all the way up again. Looks incredibly different, right? And now we're just gonna turn it down until that white disappears around the lines. So we're taking it down bit by bit, bit by bit, all right, and now all of, all of the white has disappeared. Uh, we can take it a bit further, all the way down. Again, a bit soft, so we'll take it back up one more time. And I like to sort of go past the, the sweet spot here. So we'll take it back up until the white appears. There, there we go. See how everything's changing all the time, all right? This is by no means an accurate image, right? Because you've created what we call artifacts, as I said, and uh, even these lines here have changed uh, the way they look completely. So we'll take the sharpness down again. Right, until it just finishes. And there we go. Um, probably up one more click. So yeah, maybe down one. Yep, right, so now I can't see on there any sign of the white artifacting. So we've taken it as low as we can. And um, so you'll find on a lot of uh, projectors, you know, if they go from zero to 10, for example, you might have sharpness on one or two, maybe three. Uh, it varies from model to model. So go to your TV, have a look. It does help. You need some sort of test pattern with some nice black lines on it. Um, and then turn your sharpness up until that white, dis white appears and turn it back down until it just disappears. And then you should have the neatest, sharpest image on your projector or TV. That's it folks, short but sweet. Another video from Home Theatre Engineering. Don't forget, please subscribe, like, ring the bell, and uh, we'll keep you updated.